Hi friends, welcome to my channel NM Learn Mac Courses with Nagamani. Today we will solve problem related to Kelly Hamilton theorem. And coming to the problem, they are given matrix A and they are asked to find what is the value of A power 4. If you see here, this is upper triangular matrix. For upper triangular matrix or lower triangular matrix or diagonal matrix, the eigenvalues are the diagonal elements only. So, if you see here, eigenvalues are 2 minus 2, 2i minus 2i. So, if you write the characteristic equation as lambda, lambda minus 2, lambda plus 2, here lambda minus 2i, lambda plus 2i, which is, is equal to 0. Then we get lambda equal to 2 and lambda equal to minus 2, lambda equal to 2i, lambda equal to minus 2i, okay. And if you see these two here, a plus b, a plus b into a minus b, that is a square minus b square, here lambda square minus 2 to the 4, okay. And here also same a plus b into a minus b, we get a square minus b square, that is lambda square minus b square is 4i square that is 4i square where i square is minus 1 minus into minus plus we get and here 2 to the 4 which is equal to 0 and coming to the here a plus b into a minus b form only so here a square that is lambda square whole square minus b square that is 4 square which is equal to 0 here lambda power 4 minus 4 for the 16 equal to 0 if you see here lambda power 4 is equal to 16 by Kelly Hamilton theorem a power 4 which is equal to the 16 i okay a power 4 is equal to the 16 i so the answer for the question is B. Okay. You see the problem. They are given 2 by 2 matrix and they are asked to find the number of linearly independent eigenvectors of eigenvalue 2. If you see this matrix, this is the upper triangular matrix. So we can directly write the eigenvalues are 2, 2, 3. But they are asking only the number of linearly independent vectors for two value so if you see the solution and we know that number of linearly independent eigenvectors which is equal to n minus r number of linearly independent eigenvectors which is equal to n minus r where n is the order of the matrix and r is the rank of the a minus lambda i matrix here lambda is 2 i am writing a minus lambda that is 2 i matrix which is equal to here a minus 2 i 2 0 1 0 2 1 0 0 3 this is the a matrix minus 2 into identity matrix we will get 2 0 0 0 2 0 0 0 2 okay and here we get 2 minus 2 0 0 minus 0 0 minus 1 minus 0 1 okay 0 minus 0 0 and 2 minus 2 we get 0 1 minus 0 1 here 0 minus 0 0 and 0 minus 0 0 3 minus 2 we get 1 if you do row operations here r2 tends to r2 minus r1 and r3 tends to r3 minus r1 by applying these row operations we get here if you see there is no change in first row so here 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 0 1 minus 1 0 here also same 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 0 and 1 minus 1 0 here we get 0 so the rank of the matrix a minus 2i we get the number of 
non-zero rows. Here we have only one non-zero row which is equal to 1. And for 3 by 3 matrix is n equal to 3. If you see the number of linearly independent eigenvectors which are equal to n minus r that is equal to 3 minus 1 we get 2 is the answer. So two linearly independent eigenvectors for eigenvalue 2. Okay. And if you have any doubt, please comment below. And thanks for watching.